Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Foresight Autonomous. I've uh, talked about this one uh, quite a few times on the channel. It's uh, one of my favorite ones. It's um, been kind of beaten down here uh, lately, but um, I'm looking at it as a buying opportunity and tossing around uh, buying some. I hadn't looked at it here for a while, and I um, think I'm going to pull the trigger on this one. You can see it was uh, 10 11 here back in uh, January, up to 11:32 in February, and since then just kind of uh, came down. Um, Yesterday it hit uh, $4.10. Here's kind of what it looks like over the last month. Down 34%. Uh, down 12.5% uh, in the last week. And uh, here's a look at today. So it's actually having a good day. Um, hit the low here of 417 and uh, went up. Um, but I'm, I'm still in the green on this one, uh, not much, I've had mine here for a while, uh, ticker is FRSX, as you can see it's here on Robinhood, so you can buy this one on Robinhood, if you're looking for a different platform, uh, feel free to use the links in the description, whether it be Weeble, uh, Moomoo, Doe, First Trade, or uh, so on, um, again this kind of goes over uh, what uh, Foresight Autonomous is, uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over that. For yourself, uh, 350 million dollar market cap, uh, been around since 1977. Two million uh, average shares uh, being traded, um, and or, uh, earnings coming up here expected uh, May 21st after hours. And here you can see, I tried uh, buying some. Uh, looks like at seven dollars and thirty cents back in um, January. Used to try to uh, get this one. Uh, it used to be a challenge to get it under uh, eight dollars. I was uh, trading it there for a while and uh, doing like a fifty cent swing and uh, making fifty cents a share in and uh, my uh, Doe account. Um, but in the Robin Hood here, I've just uh, bought them and let them set here. So um, there you could have got it for four sixty back in uh, December. Uh, it looks like I did get some here for uh, six dollars back in December. Uh, Three ninety-five. Um, so it's quite volatile even back in uh, December. Um, so it looks like a three ninety-five up to six. So and got some here for uh, two dollars and ninety cents back on the twenty-second. So there's. Lot going looks like a big uh, run up there back in uh, December on it, um, but I got some other information to go over here. If you have any of uh, FRSX, uh, go ahead and leave that in the uh, comments along with your uh, cusp basis. That would be interesting to know. Um, FRSX has yet to uh, win over Analyst, and this is just dated a couple days ago here on the twelfth. Uh, uh, traded at 569 at the close session, ended up a downturn of 4.37. I'm not going to read all of this to you since it's a little bit older <coughs> of an article, and it's down even since then. So feel free to pause and uh, go over that there for yourself. We already touched on the uh, market cap, earnings per share. Feel free to pause and uh, go over that information there for yourself, um, but the stock as a hold, two as a buy, analysts rated as an outperform, while none of them rated as underperform. And so I'm looking kind of bullish on this one. I've always been kind of bullish on this one. I uh, like this particular company, and I'm um, thinking about picking up some shares here, especially since it's under uh, $5, so. Uh, but this is... Uh, battle versus fundamentals versus uh, technicals, uh, dated on the uh, 8th, so it's a little bit older of an article, uh, but still some relevant information in here for you, the like uh, Foresight, so feel free to pause and uh, go over that information. You can find this on newsheater.com. This kind of goes over the uh, market performance. Uh, stock went down 1.38% for the week. Analyst opinion of uh, Foresight, and uh, we'll hit tip ranks here at the end. It is trading at 26.80 from the 50-day uh, moving average. 
and it's probably lower than that uh, right now if you're not bullish on uh, foresight uh, now you'll kick yourself later this is just dated uh, two days ago uh, so this is as of uh, Friday looks like it was down again uh, look at the daily uh, movement shows the uh, less close reads four dollars and seventy four cents intraday deals fluctuated uh, between four dollars and thirty and four dollars and seventy six the company's five-year monthly beta was taking zero p ratio was trailing a 12-month period red zero taking into account 52-week price action and high of 12.14 low of 53 cents market valuation of 302 million here it kind of goes over the earnings per share at uh, minus 0 0.06 per share for the quarter on the technical perspective front indicators give uh, foresight a short-term outlook of a 50 uh, percent sale on the average uh, 50 percent buy so this one's always had kind of uh, buy and hold and sell ratings um, just like the article says um, kind of a wide variety of uh, analysts um, price targets on this one uh, but again I'm not going to read all this to you so feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself um, kind of price is all over the place and if you have this one go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments along with your cost bases what your thoughts are on this one or if um, you think you should get out of this one that would be interesting to know as well and 2020 be worth your money to uh, buy foresight and this is just dated uh, yesterday so this goes over the uh, last trading session the volume at uh, 2.3 million uh, foresight shares change hands companies beta of zero company price per share of 436 uh, current valuation stood at 308 million. Four slice last price was a discount traded at about uh, minus 178.56 percent after off of the 52 week high of uh, $12.14, 52 week low of uh, 53 cents. So that's quite a wide uh, range on this one. This kind of goes over some uh, trade information estimates and forecasts looking at the company's year over year on year earnings five year has earnings growth rate at uh, zero the 2021 estimates are earnings uh, to decrease by uh, minus 228.6 uh, but the outlook over the five year period is at zero per year so kind of <laughs> Uh, don't really give good ratings don't give good growth uh, they are not really given anything on this one um, this one has always been kind of a struggle to find some really good solid information on it it's just I don't know there's something about it I uh, like the company I like the uh, technology they have um, but just as it says here thoughts question mark I've thought about this one a couple times uh, stock destined to crash and burn so maybe so and the inevitable failure of LIDAR uh, so maybe that's why uh, Elon doesn't put these in uh, Tesla LIDAR um, I don't know just throwing that out there so you can get some feedback on that as well but um, uh, this was a fun one to trade a uh, couple times that I traded it um, like I said it was a 50 cent uh, swing here and there and made some money on it uh, can never sell this thing <laughs> so there's a lot of people bullish on this one I added more since February this one is building it's gonna take patience they're building a strong foundation high fives You got a car. So nothing 
nothing really uh, relevant to help us in the price. It's just a bunch of bullish comments. Sounds like a bunch of BS. <laughs> and now this isn't too bad. Uh, Tipper Inks has got it at a moderate buy. Only one analyst, though, at a buy. Uh, projection of 13, 182% upside. That's quite a difference. But see, it's 13 to high and a 13 of a low. So take that for what it's worth. Um, that'd be awesome if it hit 13 again. Um, I kind of have my... Uh, doubts in regards to uh, what it's been doing here as of uh, lately but um, like I said if you have this one uh, go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments along with your uh, cost basis and um, what your thoughts are on this one and um, I don't know I'm going to continue watching it and uh, we'll see if it has another run up uh, maybe should have bought some here but if it goes back down I might buy some at the 440 460 range and maybe just put a trailing stop on it, a 10% or something like that. It'd still be in the green with these shares. But um, that's all that I have uh, for Foresight. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. That would really help out the channel and uh, get the videos out to some other people. And uh, hit that bell so you're notified of when the uh, next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.